I don't know what I'm in for with this, but uh, hopefully it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is a statue in my honor! Mark! Lisa, look! Oh, I'm dead. What a beautiful day! Whoa! Was that an earthquake? Holy crap, Johnny! Did you feel that? Oh, hi, Mark! Yes, I did! This is very bad! The bridge just collapsed right behind me! Are you okay, Mark? Yeah, Johnny. Just very shaken up. Hello, boys! Are you alright? Oh, hi, Claudette! Yes, we are fine. Is Lisa okay? Yes, Lisa is fine, but a bit shaken up. I better get home and comfort her. Now, Johnny, as my future son-in-law, I expect you to provide for Lisa. Lisa has been eyeing up a red dress at the dress shop. Now, would you be a perfect time? Well, now would be a perfect time to give her a gift. After a bridge collapse, yes. Okay, Claudette, whatever you say. Buy a dress for Lisa. I'm very busy, so I gotta run. See you guys later. I'm meeting Shirley for coffee, so I need to run as well. Need a ride? Sure. I better get moving. I see the controls are not what I expect them to be. Oh, it's point and click. Alright, 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 gotcha. Well, there goes the fucking bridge. That's always nice. Women's fashion and tuxedo rentals. Red dress. My Lisa will love this dress! Thanks, Johnny. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> the the uh, doormat says, Oh, hi, Johnny. Hi, babe. You owe me one, Johnny. Wow, you look so sexy, Lisa. Isn't it fabulous? I would do anything for my girl. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hi, Danny. Wow, look at you. It's from Johnny. Anything for my princess. <laughs> How much was it? Danny, don't ask a question like that. Nice to see you, Denny. I'm going to take a nap. Can I go upstairs too? Ha <laughs> Denny, I think I'm gonna join him. <laughs> join Lisa for nap time. Ha <laughs> Smooch. The fuck is Denny doing here? Danny, don't you have something else to do? I just like to watch you guys. <laughs> oh, Danny, Danny boy. Danny, two's great, but three's a crowd. I get it, you guys want to be alone. That's the idea. Fine, I have homework to do anyway. Bye, loverbirds. Loverbirds, isn't it lovebirds generally? Bye, Danny! <laughs> smooch, smooch. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, why that noise? Did you like last night? Yes, I did. Not some fucking clothes, Jesus Christ. I should take a shower first. You just put on clothes. I don't even see a shower. Oh, bath. There we go. God, please stop that. Okay, can we... Yeah, I've had enough of that. Thank you. Great news, Johnny. We've put your ideas to work, and the bank is making lots of money. That is great! I get my promotion? Sorry, Johnny. Not yet. But I'm saving you lots of money! Just a few more weeks, Johnny. You're our favorite employee. So did you get your promotion? Are you making more money yet? Sorry, Claudette, no. They say a few more weeks. If you're going to be my son-in-law, you will need to buy a house. I know, Claudette. Well, don't go home empty-handed. At least get Lisa some flowers before you break the news. No flowers in there. The flower shop's probably on the other side of the friggin' map. Can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It will be $18. Here you go. Keep the change. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi, doggy. Sorry, I had to add that. It was important. These are for you. Thanks, honey. They're beautiful. Did you get your promotion? Nah. You didn't get it, did you? He just, he just said no. That son of a bitch told me I would get it within three months. I saved them bundles. They're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. They betray me. They didn't keep their promise. They trick me, and I don't care anymore. Did you tell them how much you saved them? Of course, what do you think? They are already they already put my ideas into practice. The bank saves money and they are using me and I am their fool. I still love you. You're the only one who does. At least you have friends. I didn't get any calls today. You're right. The computer business is too competitive. Do you want me to order a pizza? Whatever, I don't care. I already ordered pizza. What the <laughs> Why even ask him? <laughs> you think about everything. <laughs> What's the matter? You all right? It's just a lousy promotion. You know what you need? You need a drink. I don't drink, you know that. I feel like drinking. Where the fuck is my alcohol? Ha ha ha! Don't worry, don't. Ah, no, uh, she's not Johnny. Don't worry about it. It's good for you. It's really not. This is horrible. You must be crazy. I can't drink this. If you love me, you'll drink this. You're right. It is good. <laughs> I know. I am right. The fuck? Don't worry about those fuckers. You're a good man. Drink and let's have some fun. Ha ha ha! Yuck, yuck! You have nice legs, Lisa. You have nice pecs. I'm tired. I'm wasted. I love you, darling. Come on, make love to me. Heh. <laughs> Come on, you owe me one. 
I love you, Lisa. I love you, Johnny. <laughs> I can't show up for work in this outfit, really? I, the game did not tell me that would be a problem. I guess it makes sense, but... Just a few more weeks, Johnny. Great, that was productive. Do you hear that? It sounds like Denny! Where's my fucking money, Denny? A what? <laughs> Best friends versus Chris R. <laughs> Throw a bottle. Throw a football. What the fuck? <laughs> Glamour. What the? F <laughs> what is that? Bottle hits pretty hard. Got him. What's going on here? Somebody help! Let's take him to the police. Out of time, cop. Well, if it isn't our old friend Chris R., we've been looking for a reason to bust you for years. Thanks, Johnny. You're our favorite citizen. We should go check on Denny. Mother! <laughs> Are you okay, Danny? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. What's okay? He's taking drugs. Come on, stop. It was a mistake. A mistake? And he takes drugs? Let's go home. Come on, it's clear. What's clear? I am gonna call the police. Mom, stop! It was Denny's mistake. Just stop. Let's go. Why did you do this? You know better, right? 
I'm sorry. Why? I'm sorry. You know better, Danny. You almost got killed. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. Danny, you know that Johnny's like your father. Not really. And we're your friends. We're gonna help you. Let's go home. It's down the f Thanks for walking me home, guys. <laughs> yeah, he really needed that walk. It's really critical. I'm gonna call Claudette and make sure she got home okay. You should take a shower, Johnny. You stink. Wow. Claudette got home okay. Let's go to bed. Why did I even get dressed? and you should be getting that promotion, that raise, whatever. Yeah, great. You remember my friend Shirley Hamilton? She found a new house and needs money for the down payment. I would help her, but I have my own problems. My jerk brother Harold wants me to give him a share of my house. Not to mention, I just found out I definitely have breast cancer. Could you lend her the money? That would be an awkward situation. I expected you to be a little more generous. And what is this I hear about you hitting Lisa? I did not hit Lisa, what are you talking about? Lisa told me you got drunk last night and hit her. I did not hit her! I did not! Don't get so worked up. Go cool off on the roof. I did not hit her! I, I did not! It's bullshit! I did not hit her! I did not! <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She said I hit her. What? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. What's new with you? So how is your sex life? Uh, well, I'm just sitting up here thinking, you know? I got a question for you. Yeah? You think girls like to cheat like guys do? What makes you say that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just thinking. I don't have to worry about that because Lisa is loyal to me. Yeah, man. You never know. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up at a hospital on Ger Guerrero Street. Ha! <laughs> what a story, Mark. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm so happy to I have you as my best friend. And I love Lisa so much. Yeah, man. Yeah, you are very lucky. Well, maybe you should have a girl, Mark. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I have one already. I don't know yet. Well, what happened? Remember Betty? What's her name? That's her name? Betty? Yeah. Yeah, we don't see each other anymore. You know, she wasn't any good in bed. 
She was a beautiful, she was beautiful, but we had too many arguments. That's too bad. My Lisa's great when I can get it. Oh man, I just can't figure women out. Sometimes they're just too smart. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Other times they're just evil. It seems to me that you're the expert, Mark. No, <laughs> definitely not an expert, Johnny. What's bothering you, Mark? Nothing, man. Do you, do you have some secrets? Forget it! Why don't you tell me? Come on! Forget it, dude! Is it some secret? Come on! I'll talk to you later! Well, whatever. Hey, Johnny! Oh, hi, Danny! Man, this, is, this voice actually is starting to hurt my fucking throat. Uh... What's wrong with Mark? <laughs> He's cranky today. <laughs> Girl trouble, I guess. What's new with you? Not much. Still going to the movie tonight? Oh, sure, we are. What kind of movie are we gonna... Oh, God. I see, I can't even keep the fucking text straight. What kind of movie are we gonna see? Well, we'll see. Denny, don't plan too much. It may not come out right. All right, let's toss the ball around. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> Gotta tell you about something. <laughs> Shoot, Denny. It's about Lisa. Go on. She's beautiful. She looks great in her red dress. I think I'm in love with her. Go on. I know she doesn't like me because sometimes she's mean to me. But sometimes when I'm around her, I feel like I want to kiss her and tell her I love her. This is all fucking weird. I just want you to know that. I don't know. I'm just confused. Danny! Don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too as a person. As a human being. As a friend. As anything other than what you want, really, is what she's trying to tell you. You've been friend-zoned, Danny. Yeah. You know, people don't have to say it. They can feel it. What do you mean? You can love someone deep inside your heart and there is nothing wrong with it. A lot of people love each other. The world would be a better place to live. This is your future wife. Danny, don't worry about it. You're a part of our family and we love you very much. I don't mind you having a sexual attraction to my fiance at all. It's no problem. We will help you anytime, and Lisa loves you too. As a friend! You're sort of like her son! God, this is... You mean, you're not upset with me? No, because I trust you and I trust Lisa. What about Elizabeth, huh? Well, I love her. Mm -hmm. When I graduate from college, get a good job, I want to marry her and have kids with her. That's the idea! You're right. Thanks for paying my tuition. You're very welcome, Denny. And keep in mind, if you have any problems, talk to me and I will help you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's go eat, huh? Come on, let's go. I'm starving. Ah, cheesecake! Congratulations, you're our billion cheesecake served. I knew I could count on you, Denny. So, Denny, how is the cheesecake? It's amazing, Johnny. You should try some. I'm already, I'm already eating cheesecake. <laughs> Too late anyway. I just ate it all. You ate my fucking cheesecake? <sighs> Thanks for paying for my cheesecake, Johnny. See ya. I guess I should be getting home now. That was climactic, wasn't it?
Don't worry, you can trust me. Your secret is safe with me. Hello, Michelle. I heard you. What secret? It's between us women. Hi, Johnny. Did you get a new dress? Uh, well, I better be going. I'll just talk to you guys later. Excuse me. Lisa, remember what I told you? What's she talking about? It's girl talk. I just told you that. I never hit you. You shouldn't have any secrets from me. I am your future husband. You sure about that? Maybe I'll change my mind. Don't talk like that. What do you mean? What do you think? Women change their minds all the time. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? Look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go upstairs, wash up, and go to bed. How dare you talk to me like that? You should tell me everything. God, Johnny's kind of a dick. I can't talk right now. Why, Lisa? Why is that? Please talk to me, please. You are part of my life. You are everything. I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You're lying. I never hit you. That's what I was going to say. Why are you so hysterical? Do you understand life? What? Do you? Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. You're driving me crazy. Good night, Johnny. Don't worry about it. I still love you. Good night, Lisa. Yes, Saturday. Do I work on Saturdays? This is relevant. I'm not sure, actually. I guess I'll check. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Johnny, what's going on? Oh, hi, Mike. What's new? Actually, Johnny, I've got a little bit of a tragedy on my hands. Uh-huh. Me and Michelle, we were making out. Uh, at your place. <laughs> and, uh, Lisa and Claudette sort of walked in on us in the middle of it. That's not the end of the story. Go on. I Go on. I'm listening. Okay, we're going at it, and I'm, I get out of there as fast as possible. Well, you know, I get my pants, I get my shirt, and I get out of there. And then about halfway down the stairs, I realize that I have misplaced. I have forgotten something. Mm hmm Uh, my underwear. <laughs> so I come back to get it, you know, and I pretend that I need a book. You know, like I'm looking for my book. And I reach in and put the underwear in my pocket and sort of slide it out real quick. Well, Claudette, she saw it sticking out of my pocket. She pulls it out and she's uh, showing everybody my underwears. You must be kidding. Underwear? I got the picture. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do. That's life. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mike. Oh, hi, Danny. You guys want to play some football? I got to see Michelle in a little bit and make out with her. <laughs> oh, psh, come on. Come on, Mike. Let's do it. Come on. All right, whatever. Let's go for it. I'm going out. <laughs> Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Almost as much as I was. Studying, right? Well... <sighs> I don't study like that. What the fuck? He doesn't. <laughs> so hey, Danny, what's up? What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark! 
What's going on, man? Not too much. What about you guys? He was just telling us about an underwear issue he has. Dude, don't! Underwear? What's that? Dude, it's, it's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Underwear? Man, come on. Holy shit. Oh, God! You okay? Are you alright? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Wanna go see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm fine. I'm gonna take him home. Mark, why don't you take him home? What? And Mike, listen if you need anything. Call me anytime, alright? Okay. See you guys. See you guys. Let's go home, Danny. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. See ya. But Johnny is a part of our family. Mom, I don't love Johnny anymore. I don't even like him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. You don't understand. Who? Who is it? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it? Then why did you bring it up in the first place? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know yet. If you think I'm tired today, wait till you see me tomorrow. I'm not even gonna sleep one wink tonight! Damn it! Coming to the party? Sure, I suppose so. How can they say this about me? I don't believe it! I show them. I will record everything. Record everything! <laughs> to go for the party. <laughs> Gotta be honest. It's not there. Uh, is it up here, maybe? Why so street? <laughs> oh, well, I gotta record everything, so... Hey, Johnny, recorders are on sale this week. They let you record everything. <laughs> Never, I never know when I may need to record things. Oh, hi, Peter. Hi, Johnny. I don't understand women, do you, Peter? What man does? What's the problem? They say, they never say what they mean. They always play games. Oh, um, what do you mean? I have a serious problem with Lisa. Um, I don't think she's faithful to me. In fact, I know she isn't. Lisa, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I overheard a conversation between Lisa and her mother. What should I do, Peter? This is Lisa we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what to say. 
but you are a psychologist. Do you have some advice? It's a complicated situation, Johnny. I mean, you're my friend and I don't get between you and Lisa. But look, if you want to, you should comfort her. Or confront her. I can't confront her. I want to give her a second give her a second chance. After all, she's my future. You know what they say, love is blind. Well, you got a lot of faith in Lisa. Sometimes life gets complicated and the unexpected can happen. When it does, we just gotta deal with it. Did you hear the door? Yeah. Oh hi, Mark. Oh hey Johnny. Hey, hey Peter. We're just talking about women. Women, man. Women just confuse me. I have a girl. She's married. I mean, she's very attractive. It's just, it's driving me crazy. Why didn't you mention this before? Is it anyone I know? Nah, man, you don't know her. Can I meet her? I don't think so. It's an awkward situation. You mean she's too old, or you think I would, t I, w I would take her away from you? Heh <laughs> heh. Huh? Nah. I have my own problems. Tell me about your problems, Johnny. We were just doing that! Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Look, I'm just your friend and I'm just worried about you. Lisa is teasing me about whether or not we're going to get married or not. And we didn't make love in a while and I don't know what to do. You never really know. Look, you should tell her about your feelings, okay? You shouldn't hide them. You two have been together forever. You can work out anything as long as you talk about it. Not always. Don't be negative. People are people. Our people are people. Sometimes they just can't see their own faults. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving to a bigger place, man. I'm making some good money. I don't know what this has to do with the conversation, but I'm going to say it anyway. Look, you should tell her the truth. I mean, you're doing this for your girl, right? You're right, Peter. <laughs> Is she getting a divorce, Mark? You guys are too much. Hey, are you running babe to... Are you running bay to breakers this year? I don't actually know what that means. I am, sure. Nah, I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> chicken, Peter. You're just a little chicken. Not doing that. Who are you calling chicken? I just don't like all the weirdos. There's too many weirdos there. <laughs> I don't mind. Mark, do you remember the one with the big tits? The blondie one? No, how about the one with the bridal gown with the sign? <laughs> Can you marry me? <laughs> I thought I would take her up on it. <laughs> I never ate so much. Yeah, the barbecue chicken was delicious rice. That was cool. You guys proved my point. You're both weird. You guys want to play cards? No, we can't. I expect Lisa any minute. Hey, come on, man. Who's the king of this house? Yeah, you guys gotta see what she's like before you get married. Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, that's a very interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco with two suitcases and I didn't know anyone, I hit the YMCA here with a $2,000 check which I couldn't cash. Why not? Well, because I was an out-of-state bank. Anyway, I was working as a busboy in a hotel and she was sitting drinking her coffee. She was so beautiful, and I say hi to her, and that's how we met. So what's the interesting part? Well, the interesting part is that on our first date, she paid for dinner. What? No tips from your job? Whatever. You guys want to eat something? Make a sandwich. <laughs> I need to make a sandwiches for Mark and Peter. <laughs> Knife. Ugh. God, this is so tedious.
I, I feel I need to stress, in case anyone making, you know, for future sandwich making purposes that no one will probably need, never make me a sandwich like this because I will hate you. Uh, <laughs> that's horrible and disgusting. <laughs> Why do I have to cut everything? You know what? You just get cheese. Because fuck Peter. I don't even know him. <laughs> I'm in America. This is America! Where I will get more than cheese on my sandwich! Damn it. Okay, fine. You'll get bananas. <laughs> Oh god, I need at least three ingredients apparently. Okay, fine. God, that's horrible. Uh. <laughs> I can go tell Mock and Peter the sandwiches already. Where did Peter and Mark go? They had to run. Denny says hi. But I just made them a snack. Apparently, they weren't that hungry. By the way, I stopped by the dress. I, I stopped by the dress shop to check in. Your tux will be ready tomorrow. Oh great! I am excited to try it all. Good for you, Johnny. Let's go to bed. Great news, your tux is ready! This tux fixed great! Great, Johnny, and thanks for undressing in front of- <laughs> That was pretty funny. Uh Hi, Johnny. I saw you on the street and wanted to say that tux looks great. Oh, hi, Susan. Thanks. You look better than a slice of cheesecake. Oh, thank you. You do like cheesecake, right? Yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, Danny. Nice tux. You look great. You look really handsome. <laughs> oh. Your wedding picture is going to look great. Oh, thanks. Hey, Peter, come on in. Oh, hi, Peter. You look really good, too. Sit down. Whoa! Wow! Hey, guys. You like it? Yeah, yeah, it looks good. You look great. You look like a baby face. You guys want to play some football? In tuxes? Now, you gotta be kidding. Come on, Mark, let's do it. I'm up for it. Johnny, ask Peter. Come on, Peter. No, I don't think so. Please. Nope. Come on. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. I know I said I wasn't going to do it. I lied. Cheep, cheep. Everyone's cheeping. Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's play in front of the electronics store. Catch, Johnny! Oh, 
Alright, Peter. Here we go, Mark. Come on, come on, everybody. Come on. Catch, Mark. Go deep. Ha! Gee, Peter, you're clumsy. Alright, that's it. I'm done. Great idea, Denny. Take a shower. I'm feeling a little lightheaded, guys. I'm gonna go home and lie down. All right, Peter, enjoy your nap. Cheep, 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 cheep. Can we please stop cheeping? Great game, guys. See you later. Hey, Johnny. Want to meet at the coffee shop tomorrow after work? Sure, Mark. That would be great. All right. See you very soon. me Garfield because I hate Mondays. Great news, Johnny. We just landed a new client. He's the acclaimed film writer, director, producer, and star, Tommy Wiseau! The bank will make a lot of money! Wait, do you mean THE Tommy Wiseau of Wiseau Films? Yep, that's him! Wow, he is the greatest writer, director, producer, star ever! And now he's our favorite client. I have to tell my friend Mark about this when we meet for coffee today. Just remember, Johnny, the identity of our client is strictly confidential. Coming. I'm very thirsty. Let's have some... I want a bagel. Give me a bagel. I'll have the mint tea. Okay, what size? I'll have the medium. Go sit down. We'll be right there. Man, I'm so tired of girls' games. What happened now, Mark? Relationships never work. Why waste my time? What makes you say that? It's not that easy, Johnny. Well, you should be happy, Mark. Yeah, I know. Life is too short. Oh, thank you, Susan. You're welcome. How about something like cheesecake? No, not today. It's real good. All right. How was work today? Oh, pretty good. We got a new client. The bank will make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Well, come on, why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? I've been waiting for that line this entire time. Can't talk about it. Why not? Is it because it's non-existent? Oh, God. I have to run. Already? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, it's on me. Yeah, see ya. See ya, Mark. Wanna go jogging? Golden Gate Park? Yeah, sure. What time? Golden Gate Park, 6.30. Right on. See ya. Okie dokie, bye!
Sorry, my voice is starting to get a little sore. It's okay though. Be fine. There's Mark. Hey! Hey Johnny, how's it going? Good! Catch this, Johnny, come on! They went jogging, where did they even get the football? Was someone running with a football in their hands the entire time? That sounds really annoying. Well, I'm glad that was a scene. Exciting. Catch me, come on! Johnny, see you later. Johnny, you have to stay after hours and clean up as punishment. Holy shit. up early today. I made you a birthday cookie. It's in the kitchen. Nom 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 nom. Bye Lisa. Oh hi Claudette. Bye! Hey Johnny, see it's, uh, I mean tomorrow. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Oh, wow! Happy birthday, dear Johnny! Alright, thank you! Happy birthday to you! Woo! Thank you! Thanks! Hey, everybody, let's go outside for some fresh air! Oh, shit! Change your mind about letting Shirley that money. Steve needs to keep the stupid comments in his pocket.
Thank you, honey. This is a beautiful party. You invited all my friends. Good thinking. You're welcome, darling. You know how much I love you. I do. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's getting really hot in here. Why don't we go back outside? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hi, everybody. I have an announcement to make. We're expecting... Lisa, I have to talk to you. You have to be honest with Johnny. I agree with that. Look, I'm gonna tell him, okay? I just don't want to ruin his birthday. When is the baby due? There is no baby. What? What are you talking about? I told him that to make it interesting. To make what interesting? We're probably gonna have a baby eventually anyway. You're not gonna tell Johnny, are you? Lisa, are you feeling okay? Because this is just getting worse and worse. I feel like I'm sitting in an atomic bomb, waiting for it to go off. Me too. There's no simple solution to this. Don't worry, you guys worry entirely too much about me. Lisa, we're not worried about you, we're worried about Johnny! You don't understand what the psychological impact of what you're doing here. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting your, our friendship. I am not responsible for Johnny. I'm through with that. I'm changing. I have the right, don't I? People are changing all the time. I have to think about my future. What's it to you? This is gonna pull us all down. It's gonna shake up our group of friends. It's gonna destroy our friendship, Lisa. I don't think Mark really loves you. I don't want to talk about it. Lisa, you're gonna have to face it. I, for one, am gonna have a hard time forgiving you if you don't. Hey, everybody. Let's go inside and eat some cake. I'm sorry I couldn't lend your friend the money, Claudette. It's all right, darling. I will explain to Shirley it's an awkward situation. Just shut up! What are you doing? What's going on here? You really don't know, do you? Maybe I know more than you think I do, Mark. Oh, shit. Shit, all right. What do you want from me, huh? Stop it! All right, all right. Okay, folks, everything is fine. Fighting is over. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, me too. Lisa, can you clean up here, please? I need to cool off before I go back out there. Ah, that feels like... <laughs> the joke was obvious. <laughs> What are you doing? None of your business. Your future wife, what are you doing, Lisa? Leave her alone, man. She doesn't want to talk to you. Since when do you give me orders? Since Lisa changed her mind about you. Ha! Wake up, man. What planet are you on? I think you should leave right now, Mom. Don't spoil it. We're just having fun. Don't worry about it, man. Don't touch me, motherfucker! Get out! Stop it! You two are acting like children! You're gonna ruin the party! Son of a bitch! You keep your girl satisfied, she wouldn't come to me! Get out of my house! I'll kill you! I'll break every bone in your body! Oh shit! <laughs> Johnny versus Mark! <laughs>
I win anyway. Metal best friend! Stop it! I'll kill you, bastard! You couldn't kill me if you tried. You betrayed me! You're that good! You you're just a chicken! Chip 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 chip! It's over, it's over, it's not over! Everybody betrayed me! I fed up with this world! I cleaned up the kitchen, sweetheart, so you don't have to worry about that. He still won't come out of the bathroom. Sweetheart, he's upset. Now, Johnny is a sensible man. He will come out and you will discuss things. Everything. everything is going to be okay. I just think I should be alone with him right now. I understand, sweetheart. I'm gonna go home now. Bye-bye. You call me if you need me. I will. Thanks, Mom. You can come out now, Johnny. She's gone. In a few minutes, bitch. Who are you calling a bitch? You and your stupid mother. <laughs> Hi, Mark. You need to talk. I need to talk to you. Don't worry about Johnny. He's just being a big baby. You know how much I, you know I love you very much. I love you. I know. He's not worth it. Why don't I come up there and be with you? You got it. I'm on my way. Bye. Who were you talking to? Nobody. We'll see about that. Good thing I've been recording everything. I can play this in my bedroom tape player. <laughs> you little tramp! How could you do this to me? I gave you seven years of my life and you betrayed me! Let's see what else we have on this tape! No, stop! You little prick! I put up with you for seven years! You think you're an angel. You're just like everybody. I treat you like a princess and you stab me in the back. I love you and I do anything for you just just to please just, uh, just to yeah, that's actually what that's actually what that says. I do anything for you just to please you. <laughs> and now you betray me. How could how could you love him? Why don't you ditch this creep? I don't like him anymore. I know he's not worth it. Sure, baby, come on up. I want your body. You got it. Everybody betray me. I don't have a friend in the world. I'm leaving you, Johnny. Get out, get out, get out of my life! Rawr! Rawr! Why, Lisa? Why, why? to me. Good shot. Oh god. The gun. 
Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? It's over. God forgive me. Fucking dead. <laughs> yes! My god, Mark, is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Oh my god. You don't have me. You'll never have me. You killed him. Mark, we're free to be together. I love you. I love you, tramp. You killed him. You're the cause of all this. I don't love you. Get out of my life, you bitch. What's happening? Don't look, Denny. Johnny's dead! Wake up, Johnny, please! No, it's not right! It's not right! He's in a better place. Leave us! Both of you, leave! As far as I'm concerned, you can drop off the earth. That's a promise. Just leave, both of you! Leave him, alright? Let him be with him. Why, Johnny? Why, Johnny? Why? Why? Tell me, Johnny. How was your time on Earth? It was enchanting for a moment, but I've had enough of that world. And Lisa? The situation with Lisa was unfortunate. Sadly, we may never understand life. The handsome one, Mark. My best friend. He questioned what planet you were from. Yes, it was when I knew my time was coming to an end. All things must. So tell me, Johnny, how many spoons did you find? Looks like you have zero spoons. Unfortunately, there won't be enough to activate the machine. No need to sulk, number 86. This is a time of celebration. Indeed it is. a thing.